Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Catherine. Did we do this? We did it. No, did we? We did it. Um, Catherine and Craig, what was the hardest challenge this season? Uh, for me, the goat one, because I was very embarrassed that I couldn't add the number of goats up. So I was, I was mad. I was mad at myself for not getting it right away. Yeah, I, I really love math. <laughs> I struggle with grade five math. Uh, my grade five math teacher, Chuck Leonard, knows this. I talked to him post uh, that uh, leg too. But ultimately, I think the biggest challenge um, uniquely with this season was getting COVID right after uh, leg three and winning that, it was such a, a challenge that I wouldn't want any racer um, ever to have to go through. So so was it, jumping off of that, was it hard to come back after catching COVID? It was really hard. Uh, you know, it, it was very isolating and we wanted to make sure that we felt good enough to be able to be part of it. Well, and we wanted to protect everyone. We want, yeah. Um, the, the, Ultimately, we switched gears from winning the Amazing Race Canada to wanting to protect uh, our fellow racers and production and ultimately Canadians coast to coast. Um, but yeah, it's tough. Even in the good uh, situations, you know, we had mild uh, COVID and symptoms, uh, but still getting back, um, we had a, a little bit of uh, added struggle, but we we overcame. And on top of it, you know, Catherine with brain cancer and and that. So people and the viewers were highly concerned. And we really thank them all for reaching out during that difficult time where our lips were sealed. It, yeah. it really was difficult not to share. Yeah. We're fine. Everything's good. Catherine, your journey was so inspiring and motivating for people watching at home. Uh, how are you doing? I, I guess Canadians would want to know how are you doing and how do you feel um, now that you accomplished this and, and actually reached the summit? Um, I feel great. <laughs> um, I actually had an MRI on um, Friday and I get the results this Friday. So I'm living my life sort of in three month periods between MRIs. So I, I don't know that like the world knows that I want them to know that I I spend every day fighting cancer and and you have the scars to prove I have the, it. I have the scar to prove it. <laughs> um, but I, I, I accept that and I, I want everybody to know that it's okay to talk about, it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to rely on somebody, it's okay to um, not be able to do something that you used to be able to do easily um, and to accept that fact. And I think that people need to just be able to reach out. And that's what I've done with Craig and with my family. And I think that has helped me live a more full life and live each day um, the your last. Did the two of you see yourselves as inspirations also in the sense that you are, I think, the oldest Canadians to win the Amazing Race? Well, thank you for I pointing could be that out, Mark. <laughs> Am um, I wrong? <laughs> yes, no, no you're you, not wrong. <laughs> you are actually very correct. Uh, in fact, if you add our collective ages, it's 17 years uh, greater than Tim and Tim's and certainly um, decades <laughs> Uh, bigger most than of the... most of the winners of the past. But let this motivate Canadian um, middle age, yeah, Canadians from coast to coast that uh, you can do anything that you, yeah. you want to do and put your mind to. Watching the finale, as soon as I saw that there was an opera challenge, I said, this is the, this is the turning point. Mm -hmm. Catherine and Craig are going to, are going to emerge out of this and they're going to, you know, make their way to the front of the pack. Um, when you saw it was an opera challenge, did you really think, okay, this is our chance to really pull away from the rest of the teams? Yes and no. I mean, my dad is a fanatic about opera and I knew the song. I just don't know how to speak Italian. So that was the challenge, learning it in Italian. Mm -hmm. um, but we sort of, uh, it was split up. So it was, it was, uh, we got to wear these beautiful costumes too. So it was really great. I'm grateful that we had a, uh a challenge that's fun. Mm -hmm. I think that was really key for us. Um, yes, uh, we, we have singing backgrounds and such. We also were re still, you know, had COVID voice, uh, which which was an obstacle. But that's why I took it down the octave. Um, but certainly energetically having a fun challenge mm -hmm. shifted our energy moving forward um, with the with the final challenges. Yeah. 
this question I ask all the winners, is it better to be lucky or accurate? Ooh. Combo. Yeah, I was going to say combination of both. You need both. You need both of them to win. And be smart. Like, make sure that you're surrounding yourself, not just with the ideal partner uh, and racer, but also um, with who you even ask for directions or like our, our taxi. You know, you, you see us talking to a taxi. We, we auditioned two other taxis. Auditioned before we picked them. that one. Yes. Make sure you get the appropriate people. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Oh, you're the strongest person I know. We love you all so much. We love you. And we wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for each and every one of you. So this win is for absolutely all of us. This is so special. Who did it? We did it. You are the most spectacular human being I know. So are you. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you. <laughs>